What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is B-Rai and today I'm going to be going over my tips to help you guys find the perfect sensitivity for you in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 4. Alright, so um, if you don't want to watch the entire video, I'll leave timestamps in the description and on screen right now. But I recommend that you guys watch the entire video so you don't miss anything important. So first off, I want to explain in as much detail as I can what the two major adjustable settings your mouse has are. First, we have DPI. You might have heard this term before if this isn't the first video you've watched on sensitivities, but I'll explain it for you anyway. DPI means dots per inch, which is pretty much the standard to measure your mouse sensitivity. Basically, the higher your DPI is, the higher your sensitivity is. Typically, pros use 400 to 800 DPI, but occasionally you'll catch someone with a higher DPI than that or maybe something like 500 DPI. It all comes down to personal preference, of course. Now we should probably go over what polling rate is. Usually you should be able to adjust this setting within your mouse's downloadable software. And to put it simply, polling rate is how many times your mouse signals its movement to your PC per second. So if you have a 500 hertz polling rate, it will send 500 signals per second. Usually a higher polling rate results in smoother and more accurate movements. You'll catch pros using 500 hertz or 1000 hertz polling rate. Make sure to use 500 hertz polling rate if you have a bad mouse because having a higher polling rate on a bad mouse will result in inconsistent signals being sent from your mouse to your PC. And if you want to test what your mouse's polling rate is without like going into software and stuff, um, and to test if it's consistent, um, regardless of how far um, you move your mouse or how quick or slow you move it, uh, just look up polling rate test and try it out there. I'm also gonna have a link in the description to that website, so. All right, so now that we've got that out of the way, I'm gonna explain the connection between your DPI and your in-game in -game sensitivity. And the term used to explain this is eDPI or effective DPI. And to find your D eDPI, you just multiply your in-game sense by your DPI. For example, if you had 10% in-game sense and an 800 DPI, your eDPI would be 80. This is useful so you can compare the sensitivities of two different players even if they have completely different DPI. For example, if two players had 10% in-game in -game sensitivity, but one had 400 DPI and the other had 800 DPI, then the person with 800 DPI has twice the sensitivity of the player with 400 DPI. Okay, now that I've gone over the terms and what their significances are, I'm going to explain my tips for you to find your perfect sensitivity in Fortnite. Alright, so for my first tip, it's going to be for ARM players. Typically, ARM players are lower sensitivity players. I'm an ARM player. Basically, on ARM, being an ARM player means that you use your forearm instead of your wrist to aim. If you play ARM aim, then make sure that you're able to do at least a 360 when you swipe your mouse from left to right across your mouse pad. For my second tip, um, this one's for wrist players. Wrist players are just people who use their wrist to aim instead of their arm, which usually means that their sensitivity will have to be significantly higher than arm players, if you didn't already know that. So my tip for wrist players is just to not copy sensitivities from arm players, and you can tell that they're arm players if their um, EDPI is super low compared to what you're used to. Okay, so on the topic of copying uh, pro sensitivities, uh, I really wouldn't make the mistake um, of thinking that someone else's sensitivity will make you better because it won't, trust me. And uh, just don't go copying pro sensitivities thinking that you'll be as good as them. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad idea to copy someone's sensitivity to give you a good idea of what you want and then changing it over time to suit your preferences, but my next tip is way better than just doing that. All right, so my fourth tip is my, the most important tip, in my opinion, to find uh, your perfect sensitivity. I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial, and the link to this site is in the description also, by the way. All right, guys, sorry for the bad mic quality, but um, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go into creative and go in an empty world like me, and what you're gonna want to do is swipe your mouse from one side of your mouse pad to the other, like so. And as you can see, I'm spinning more than 360 degrees, so I'm gonna fine tune my sensitivity to what makes me do an almost perfect 360.
So, as you can see, um, this seems to be the perfect sensitivity. And now I'm going to go on to the website that I've linked in the description. Alright guys, so basically you're going to go on this website and you're going to put in your sensitivity that you just used. So I used 10.5. Um, and I'm not going to go through like testing it out and everything, but I'll just show you guys how it works so you guys can do it for yourself. So basically what you do is you take either... Um, you, you try out both these sensitivities, right? So you try the higher one and the lower one. And I'd probably guess that I had like 15 better. So then you press higher. And then you got the lower and the higher. You just keep doing this. I'd probably like higher, probably like lower, probably lower, higher. You just keep going and you, c you can just go on forever, but I think once you get to a certain point, you kind of just tried this base, and I'd probably put like 13 because you can't really have a, a second decimal where you could just do 12.9. But I would just try this base sensitivity, and if you really like it, then that's pretty much just how to find your perfect sensitivity. So basically, that's how I would recommend to find your sensitivity in Fortnite. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, I made this video because some of the recent requests in my comments uh, of some of the recent videos that I've made. So if you have a request for me, just leave it in the comments. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and sub with notifications. It really means a lot to me and keeps me motivated to keep making videos. I wish you guys good luck in finding your new sensitivities. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.